beat him at the spa. I got to the spa, bah, 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 guns blazing. So sad, KKK, KKK. Young nigga, I got old cats spazzing on their ass. I got product on my whole ass. Hello, what's going on, man? It's your man C to J to C, and y'all already know how I be. Straight from 305 Miami Dade County, but now live in Orlando because of UCF. I went to University of Central Florida, got my um, bachelor's in business, graduated in December, and now I'm back. Y'all already know the best story time in YouTube. Nikki, Glamour, Olivia Carr, Tana, all of them don't have nothing on me. Go on my channel, check out my story time playlist. Have hours of enjoyment, and you're gonna see exactly what I mean when I say best story times on YouTube. And yeah, today we're gonna talk about like basically like um the day I felt like I almost got set up. Like the day I feel like I almost got set up, but not by because I was an op or anything like that. Like it was it wasn't me. I just felt like someone who I thought was my homie basically didn't want to get set up, so he put me in the crossfire. So basically, like um. You know, you got some of these. Every, we all have friends, and each friends play some part. Like, there's those true, true friends that's like family to you, and you got them cl close to your heart. But then there's those friends that just like, you know they're they're around for a reason and that you need them for, but they're not really in that circle, circle, shit like that. So now we're going to talk about a friend that's outside that circle. He's not in that circle, circle. He's outside that circle, but he think he in, but he ain't in that circle. So, um, this was back in like, <laughs> shit, shit, I was going on in middle school. This is back in middle school, eighth grade year. Eighth grade year, we all excited, all have plans for high school. Like me, I already made my, uh, uh, like going to turn tech, trying to convince others to go to turn tech with me. Hey, by some people, like, as in high school, they go into the more dangerous part. But I'm like, all right, and, you know, so things like that. So, um, one of my homeboys, he was just like, while everybody was talking about it, he was just like shaking, like, oh shit, oh shit. He kept on saying, oh shit, the whole time, class time. And we all like saying, like, hey, I was like, what's the hell going on with him? Things like thinking, like, he on like some type of period or like he's sick or something like that. Like, he just they didn't know what was going on with him. So basically, like, um, I was like, come on, I said, what's going on? He said, bro, I gotta tell you after school. I, like, after school, I'll tell you. I'm like, all right, bro, and no, no, no problem and shit like that. So, after school came, I went up to him I'm like, bro, what's going on? He said, man, I'm in trouble, bro. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm like, why? He said, that was like this nigga like that. There was this girl I was effing with and shit like that. Like, we got really close and shit like that. And then it's basically like I found out she had a man. I found out she had a man, bro. So <laughs> I found out she had a man. And then I'm like, dang, bro, like, how the f you fucking like that? He said, I ain't know. Like, she didn't tell me she she like a single girl. He's like, she, I thought she got mad. And that man, he like a um, he he like in a gang and shit like that. Like, and he found out he pissed. And he want my ass like that. And, and I'm like, I'm like, what you gonna do? Like, like what the f? Like, why you didn't tell her tell her boyfriend the truth or shit like that? Like, shit crazy. And then he's like, nah, that's not how I work. They basically told me like they want me like to um come. Like she always going down 79. They said in the back of a school near 79. It's not at 79, but near 79. In the back of school, like, can meet them at an old bank um, garage and shit like that. I'm like, that sounds like a setup. I don't know, shit like that. He's like, he's like, nah. What they want me to do, they said, like, offer amends, like, basically some type of, like, pardon to basically, like, because the boyfriend don't believe that I didn't know she, she had a man. And I'm like, you just tell him stuff like, God, I'm not playing with this shit. Like, she tricked me and all that shit. Man, it's like, and then leave her. Then his dumb ass said, I can't. I said, why you can't? Like, the bitch lied to you. Like, she was setting you up. Like, bro, like, she what? Like, man, like you you lost your mind? And he's like, no, I like her and shit like that. Like, she, she, so, she was crying at my knee, like, basically begging me to forgive her and shit like that. She just really want to get away from him. But he can't take no for an answer, so... Yeah, so she had to do shit like that. I'm like, you believe her, bro? I don't know. Like, she could tell you straight up if that was the point. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, he said, nah. He said, like, bro, can you, like, come with me? And she like that. I said, come with you where? He said, come with me over there. Like, so I, so they see a tall nigga like you. And I'm like, bro, we just, like, 13 years old. About to go call, call, like, what? Like, like, how old they is? He said, like, bro, she, like, 
she 15. And then he, he, her nigga 18. I mean, uh, uh, she she 15. His nigga was 17, about to turn 18 soon. And I'm like, bro, like, we you messing with high school people? We in middle school? Like, what the fuck? And I said, her stupid at 15, messing with a 13? I mean, I guess that's not doing that much of a difference, but shit was crazy. And I'm telling him, like, bro, like, I don't like I don't know about this. And then he's like, just come with me, bro. Like, like, man, I'm scared. And I'm saying, like, call the cops. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not saying like, bro, I'm not the nigga that be telling call the cops. But the situation you with, bro, if you feel like you worry and scared, just like do something to basically like get your ass. I like go call the cops at the same spot they tell you me. So that way you know some type of like alert is on and shit like that. And he's like, oh no. And things like that. Like, please, man, please. And after begging, I'm like, okay, bro. All right. I see. I'll, I'll basically check it out and then like, you know, I'll go with you, but we bad. It bad. Like if I see it's taking too long, then we out. He's like, all right, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. And I'm like, okay. So then. Next day comes, I call him. I said, when you want to meet? He said, we're going to meet like, uh, he said, 3.30 at the location. 3.30, he said, we're going to be in the back of it. I'm like, all right. And she like that. Then, I, I, um, it was like 3.15. I, I, after bus and all that shit, I got to a location. I got to a location, but I hid. I hid like, I hid like somewhere like that. She's like that. I hid, bro. So I hid. And then when I was hiding, I was looking at the corner just like that. And then I saw, I saw a girl, I saw a guy, and I saw four other niggas with him. Two black cars, and those niggas were strapped. Like they had guns and everything. They had guns and everything, bro. They had guns and everything. So I'm basically like saying shit. Like, where he at? Like, where's that nigga that said he was going to, like, he needed me by him and shit like that? I'm looking around, bro, 345. Those niggas would even look at me watching saying where that nigga at. We wait. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Mind you, he gave me, like, the party. And the party was more like a, um, what it was? It was, uh, it was a book bag. It was a book bag. And I think that book bag had, like, I think it had, like, drugs in it and shit like that. The book bag had drugs in it. So what the boyfriend did, the boyfriend gave the girlfriend to give it to him. And she said, if you want a pardon, have that drug bag in your hand. Like, basically, don't get caught with it and bring it back to me. That's the pardon. So he's just supposed to bring it back to him. So he gave me the bag. I open it. I see drugs in it. So then I'm looking. I'm looking like this. Like, hi. I remind you, I'm like probably like 10 feet away, but a good distance. I'm looking at them. They strapped. They have a gun. And he on her hand. Like, I think, like, the way shit was looking, bro, is like, about to kill this nigga, show example, make his girl see, and shit like that, and then get his drugs back. I don't know, but shit was looking funny, fishy, and crazy. So, I'm just in the corner, like, looking like, bro, shit not looking right. It's not looking right. It was 4 o'clock. That's how good of a person I am. Like, that's a good of a homie I am. I waited 4 o'clock, 30 minutes after we were supposed to meet. He's still not there. He's still not there. I don't even see his brother's car because he usually drives his brother's car when his brother's not here. I don't see his brother's car, any of that. Then, you know, that is, so basically, like, uh, those niggas, like, uh, they went in their car. They, they, I mean, they had their back turned. They, they, they went in their car. They, like, they like talking it out while they wait and shit like that. What I did, since I'm 10 feet away, like, I had the back. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. And I threw it. I threw the book back as far as I can. Then I was in a corner that had an alley. Ew, I was out of there. Like I ran through that alley and then I, I ran. I ran and basically I found I found a, a bus. <laughs> Bro, I, I, why I always get in these situations? I, I, I found a bus and then basically like the bus pulled up right on time. Got on the bus, I was out there. But um, but I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all what happened, like how how I got home. But what happened was when I threw the book bag, man, basically it hit. Everybody heard it. They're like, what the F? And they saw where the book bag was thrown at. Then a car went, Err! it was his car. The car went, Err! and drove, and drove. That was like how I got lucky. That nigga, my homie, was in his car watching what happened. So he was setting me up. He was about to get set up, and he reversed it and tried to set me up. So I go with the bag. He's going to be like, where he at? I was going to be like, I don't know. 
And then who knows that happened? God forbid. So he basically like gave me the bag and said, go give it to him and shit like that. And then he said, oh, I'm going to be with you. So when he heard the back throne, he realized I was there, but I was hiding. He was hiding in the shadows, like in his car. Then once he saw that back door, he went, and he drove because he felt like he probably got scared and thought they was going to find him. He drove. They saw his car. They, 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 then they start shooting at bah, 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 but they missed it. He drove. Once his car was out and I see that, I'm like, oh, shit. And then basically I ran. That's when I ran through the alley, caught the bus, and got home. The bus came wrong time. God, was, God is good. And then <laughs> I didn't see that nigga in school for, for like the rest of the school year. The rest of the school year, a grade finished. We graduated and I didn't see him at all. And then like the next time I seen him was probably like I was in 10th grade year. 10th grade year. Hmm. I was in 10th grade year. And then I was like, um, I was in 10th grade year, and one of my homeboys was driving me home. And we passed in through Little uh, Little Haiti in Miami. And basically, like, I seen him basically like uh, um asking for money um near gas station, like cleaning people's car and asking for money for it. That's where I saw that nigga. Now I could have been the person that come up after not seeing for two years, come up and be like, what nigga, you trying to set me up? All that shit. But basically, I stayed in the car, and I was like, wow. And I was like, wow. And ba basically, people was like, people was like, um, people was like, uh, my homie was like, what are you doing? I'm like, that nigga right there tried to set me up two years ago. But then I was just like, forget it, man. Like, I hope God bless him. Look at him now. He clean car for, for money. And then we drove past and kept on going. We saw what happened, guys. He gave me the bag. He weighed me a goal in his place. He stood there to see what happened. So if I got hurt or killed or worse killed, God forbid, he basically was going to drive on through and then like be out of there and make sure nothing happened to him. But instead, he saw how smart I was. I threw the bag because he finally realized I knew what was going on. He drove past. They saw his car. And then they chased him down. I'm happy he's still alive. I know I'm not supposed to say that for someone that tried to set me up, but yeah. And the girl, but shit. Shit gonna go crazy. But shit was crazy. Remember, guys, like, subscribe, and comment, man. You can't like and not subscribe. You can't subscribe and not comment. Do all three. Hit the bell so you don't get every notification when I upload. And y'all know what it is. Your man, C to J to C. And I'm out. Be brief.